Hey, what's up y'all? Jay Helms from W2 Capitalist here. So um, yesterday I posted a video about, uh, hey, go vote and then don't worry about what happens after the election. Um, and as I expected, it is a complete and total shit show. And I didn't stay up last night. I did not stay up to, to try to figure out who was going to win, stay on the edge of my seat or anything like that. And then when I, I knew this morning... When I woke up and, and by the time I got into my phone, I looked at a couple of things. I was like, all right, here we go. As expected, this is going to be nothing but a shit show for the next couple of days. Don't let it distract you. I'm talking to myself, don't let it distract you from getting accomplished what you need to get accomplished. So I put my phone down and uh, here it is. Um, a little after lunch, I've had, well, the first thing I did when we got up this morning is my son and I went to the soccer field, practice soccer, and then... Uh, I've had calls and everything since then, but the point I want to make is as I pick up my phone and I'm now scrolling through social media, uh, I see many of you, uh, did not listen to me yesterday. Um, and you are posting things and, and getting all upset, all frustrated. There was even a guy on the mastermind call who said, man, I'm just, he told me privately, Hey, I'm, I, this election just has me so frustrated. I'm like, Dude, turn off the news. There's nothing but garbage out there. There's n the outcome of the election is going to happen, right? Um, whether you sit in front of the TV and you consume all that crap or you go on social media and post what you think is going to happen and get all stirred up because of what everybody else is posting, if it's an opposing opinion of yours or if it supports your opinion, the end result is going to happen regardless of what you do, what I do. So what I'm trying to say is don't let that distract you from doing the things that you need to do, right? Um, I've had multiple calls this morning, uh, multiple meetings uh, that are pushing the Helms family's portfolio further, right? And, and here I am, you know, I haven't looked at Facebook in like five or six hours, which is odd for me. Uh, but I will tell you that I'm getting on here and I see a bunch of you, a bunch of you guys who I respect, quite frankly, who I've been following you for a while and you're pace, posting the same old shit that everybody else is doing. I, I kind of expected more from a leadership out of you uh, in this whole scenario, right? And, um, and for those of you who, who don't understand what I'm talking about, try it. Try it. Unplugging from the news. I accepted this challenge from Tim Ferriss, the author of the four hour work week about um, 15 years ago, I think is when it was. I was like, nah, this is pretty incredible to think about not being plugged in. I really felt like my world is going to fall apart. I know a lot of you probably right now feel like your world's falling apart because your guy didn't get elected or he didn't get elected. Quite frankly, I don't even know what's going on with the election. I have no idea. I know it wasn't decided last night or this morning. And uh, and depending on what side you're on, there's things up in the air, right? Here's breaking news for you since you love to consume news. Um, nobody gives a shit what you think about at this point in time. Stop posting it. Stop posting what you think is going to happen, what you think happened, and get to work on building your portfolio. Get to work. There are deals out there to be had, deals out there to be done, and you're sitting here posting about something and getting, not only you're posting about it, but you're getting frustrated about it, you're you're occupying some mental space and you're getting stressed out over um, something you have no control over. What you do have control over is putting in the work to build your portfolio and get focused on building your real estate empire, right? That's it, guys. Unplug from the news. And look, if you have trouble with this, because I've had trouble with this when I first started, um, let me know. Let me know. Give me, a, give me a thumbs up or send me a DM or whatever the case is. Let me know, uh, and I, I will help you. I will help you get across this uh, proverbial border, so to speak, because it is one of those things that it is amazing how much more positive uh, I became on my outlook in life and how much more productivity I had uh, when I unplugged from the news, right? And granted, if it is newsworthy, if it's truly going to be life-changing in your life, it is going to end up, it's going to come into to your purview, whether you're sitting there consuming it from 
Fox News, CNN, MSNBC, whatever your case is, whatever your chosen avenue right now that has you sucked in and you're grabbed by the life and you're like, oh no, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to function because I don't know the, I don't know if I should be sad or or uh, excited right now about the election. Guys, unplug from that shit. Get on with your life. Get out. Go do it.